What's the matter? Are you scared? Does my appearance make you want to curl up in a little ball and cry? You know, I wasn't always this way. Help me! Quiet! You, you're a monster! You know, I don't get to meet a lot of new people down here. Let me tell you my whole history. My backstory, if you will. But be warned, you've already seen the ending. And it ain't happy. <laughs> no! No! It began on a dark and stormy night. That's me, your typical Playtime Co. Factory stooge. I had dreams of earning a promotion, maybe starting a family. But that night changed my future forever. This has to work. We're so close. That snuck was in the toilet, and the boys upstairs were willing to try anything to make our products more appealing, more lifelike. It's alive! I have been working on a new toy alongside the chief toy maker, a fuzzy little blue monster, but we could never get the specifics just right. Wait, something's wrong with the vessel. You! Are you blind? Shut it down! Shut it down! I pulled as hard as I could, but the prototype had gone rogue! Help! It won't listen to my commands! I thought the boss was done for. Then, at the last second... For a moment, I was too deep in shock to scream. Our secret project had failed, and now our whole assembly line was kaput. The boss seemed to think we could bounce back. <coughs> it's okay. <coughs> this is okay. We have one more prototype vessel. One more shot. As long as we try again, and it doesn't explode, just think of the money we can make. Real, living toys. Playtime Co. will be back on top. But I can see it in his eyes. We were finished. With my arm messed up, I couldn't work the machines anymore. And with the cost of repairs to think about, and the shareholders breathing down our necks, Playtime Co. had to cut costs. Ugh. Which meant cutting me. So I sat on my couch, ate cold cereal, and waited around for a miracle. But then, in my darkest hour, I got a visit from the one person who can make me feel worse. I thought he'd come to yell at me, or double fire me, or something like that, if that's even possible. Mr. Wugson, we need you back. Get dressed. I thought I was out for good. The situation has changed. We're close to a breakthrough, but we can't complete this new toy without you. Now, I liked the sound of that. I've been a Playtime Co. grunt almost all my life. The Igor to the Chief's Dr. Frankenstein. This was my chance to step into the limelight. And as if that wasn't good enough... We'll even name the toy after you. How's the name Huggy Wuggy sound? Really? <gasps> wow! I, I'd be honored! So you're in. Oh, I was way in. But here's a word of advice for all you kids out there. Before you sign your life away, always read the fine print. They had me chained so tight, I could barely breathe, let alone scream. They didn't say where we were going, but I had a pretty good idea. Commencing experiment 1006. They said they'd put me under, but I could feel everything they did. I remember one sharp pain, a sudden feeling of weightlessness, and then... nothing. The first thing I noticed was my new height. What had happened to me? Then, I realized... The good news? Our plan to invent a living, breathing toy had worked. The bad news? It was me. I tried everything I could to escape, but that always ended the same way. Stay! Down, Huggy Wuggy! They started showing me images every day, probing my mind, seeing how they could change it. And I was changing. 
I could feel part of me slipping. Anger replacing sadness. I'd tear at my walls for hours, sharpening my claws until they bled. I didn't eat. I didn't sleep. All I could think about was my boss. And what I'd do to him if I got the chance. Psst. Hey! Who are you? You don't recognize me. I'm basically the face of this company. I'm like Playtime Co's Pikachu. Happy Playtime? Mm-hmm. Listen, I know what happened to you. I want to help you get out of here. Get out? Yes. Escape this place for good. Let me out! Let me out! Hold your horses. This fence way too small for you to fit through. I'll wait for a changing of the guard. Then I'll bust you out. <gasps> I gotta go. Remember, wait for me. So I did wait. I waited for hours. Long into the night. So long, in fact, I began to doubt myself. Had I really seen Poppy in the air vent? Or was she a figment of my tortured brain? I waited, and waited, and waited, until... She came! Now, let's get this thing off you. Come on, we don't have much time. There shouldn't be too many guards around, but we still have to be quiet. Trip the motion sensor! Alert. Run! The exit's up ahead! One, zero, zero, six is out of containment. All security personnel to prison wing. What? Make it! Yes, we will! Come on, they're coming! Huggy Wuggy, halt! No! Don't make me use this. You... You think you've won, huh? Well, I've got news for you. You're never leaving this place. Total lockdown engaged. Sealing all exterior doors. There's nothing out there for you, Huggy Wuggy. Stay here. We can try the conditioning again. Make you nicer, happier. There, see? Smiling's not so hard. Kids are gonna love you. I'm not leaving this place without you. I'll be safe here until I can find a way to save you. So oh, that's my story. Any last words? You, you're a monster. You keep saying that. Bitch, right. I am. Ah!